Hi there, this is Kush from creativepadphotography.com. Welcome back to the Photoshop tutorial for beginners video series. Uh, we are on part 5 right now. So in this video, we'll be looking at a tool or a function which is absolutely one of my favorites. It's called as the content aware tool, a very, very powerful tool to remove distractions or even to transform your uh, shot. So this tool is actually not. Uh, so let me just open the image first. So we'll be looking at three images in this uh, video. Uh, this one you've already seen. So I've again provided all these three in the description of this video so that you can download them and uh, work alongside uh, this video. Right. So if you remember, we had in part three where we, we were learning about the spot healing brush tool. Uh, we had seen this image and um, I had mainly shown you that time this image to remove the wires, right? But we also tried to use the spot healing brush tool here and we saw that it didn't do a very good job. So I told you there's, a, there's another tool called content aware tool, uh, which is what we're going to see. And we're going to remove this whole block of this whole part of this building, which is uh, coming here. Right. So you'll see how easy it is to use this uh, tool. Also, this particular tool. So I'm just going to copy this, uh, make this a duplicate. So also this tool is not actually accessible from this menu. So we've been going from top to bottom here, but uh, I still thought I'll show you this right now because it's very similar to the other things that we've done, like the patch tool and the spot healing brush tool uh, and something that we'll be doing in the next video, which is the clone stamp tool. Uh, so they're all pretty much similar. That's why I thought that I'll probably put this up, uh, you know, as part five, right? So let's see how we can use uh, this particular tool. Uh, so what we're going to do is uh, you need first of all a way to select the problem right so our problem is this part of this uh, building so how do you select it we can just go back to if you remember our part two video where we learn about lasso tools so whenever it comes to a manual selection which you can just draw by hand you can use this uh, tool so i'm just what i'm going to do, do is i'm just going to draw around this so make sure that you're completely closing down this uh, problem right so now, if I can just leave it so you can see that we have our problem enclosed, right? So once this is the case, it's very easy. All you have to do is you go to edit menu, then you go to fill and you, so by default, it will be set to, I think, foreground color, but you can just change it to content aware. And once that's the case, you just press OK and you'll see that it'll just go so you can see once I deselect this, you can see it's absolutely flawless. We, flawless. we don't have those problems of uh, banding and other uh, problems of, uh, you know, uh, those patchy looking things which were coming with spot healing brush tool. So I like to use uh, content aware wherever spot healing is not working properly and mainly for bigger uh, obstacles, right? So even for the smaller obstacles, obstacles, just like the spot healing brush tool, you can again use this tool. Uh, like, for example, we can uh, try again for this wire. So you just have to completely cover this. I just left the bottom part of it, but I think it should work. Also, I must tell you that each time Photoshop updates, I think it's the potency of this tool increases. So it works much better. So you can see the wire is gone now. So it's, it's it was much easier than using the spot healing brush tool where you have to draw uh, everything. Right. Um, so Again, it helps if you get the best version of Photoshop, which I told you in video one, how to get the original uh, Creative Cloud CC Photoshop. So I always recommend that because all these tools are going to work much better. There's no doubt in the latest versions of Photoshop, right? So once you're well acquainted with whatever you're doing, I do suggest that you, uh, you know, uh, get your hands on it, even if it's paid. It's totally worth it. Now I'm going to just, you know, sh just going to show you a. Uh, a kind of a bonus thing here. So this tool not only gets rid of distractions, sometimes it's a great tool f to add stuff also, right? Especially where you want a certain pattern to be added. So I'll just show you what I mean. So let's say if, uh, you know, if we want to increase this image and, you know, we want to increase this sky more, like we want to get uh, a bit of the sky uh, more. Let's say if you're a graphic designer and you're using this image to write something here and you're finding that this space is not enough. So you need to add a bit of sky more, which doesn't exist in this image. So it's a great tool for that also. So I'll show you how you can do that. Uh, so in, in order to increase the canvas size of this image, what we need to do first of all is go to image. Uh, this is also a good bonus because sometimes you need to use all this. Uh, so you can go to image, go to canvas size, 
Canvas basically means you can imagine like the background of this image, that uh, checkered box that you see when you delete something, right? So we want to add some canvas on top, on the top part. So what we'll do is we lock the bottom part here and then we just go and select how many ever pixels we want it to increase by. So right now it's uh, our height is 3000. So let's make it 3300. So you'll see that that checkered box will come on top. So we just added the canvas size. Now, um, if you were to save this image, it would still be right now. That's what you'll see, um, right? So because this is still empty. Uh, now, what we need to do is we need to fill this with this particular sky, right? So content aware is great for that. So what you can do is first we need to select this area, the canvas here. Uh, so I'm just going to select magic wand because they are two completely different areas. So you just need one click and it'll select everything, right? Now what you need to do is, uh, as the name suggests, content aware, it needs to, you know, you need to make the selection aware of what you want to generate. So right now it's only selecting the empty part. So it doesn't have a reference point right now to add something. So what we do is we go to select, we go to modify by the way if you don't understand this it's perfectly fine uh, as long as you understood the main function of content aware that's fine i'm just showing you a bonus here uh, i'll again get back to the basics in the remaining uh, images right so uh, so what we need to do is we just need to expand this selection just a bit so that our selection here can get a taste of the sky right so what you do is go to modify go to expand so that we can expand the selection and just choose around four pixels uh, of this to expand. So now you can see they just moved slightly down. So it has tasted this sky now, right? So now it has got a reference point to add and fill this area. And then you again go to uh, edit, fill, content aware, and you click on OK. So that's it. So we've been able to add this sky. And you can see if I deselect, if I press Control plus D to deselect, it has done a, an absolutely perfect job of adding this guy right so so it's a great tool so let's uh try to look at uh another image just to get back to basics of content aware mainly to remove distractions so i'm going to open this image okay so again just unlock your image and duplicate it right uh now let's say we got this image here i'm just going to go to view and click on fit to screen and now we have to um, basically get rid of these two poles. So I, I just don't like them in this image here. So, you know, so that our sky is relatively free. Um, so let's do that. So you should be able to do this, do this on your own now. So just select this thing. Okay. And let's, see, let's go to edit, fill, and boom, it's gone. So do it for this and just for fun we're also going to remove the whole tar the sky tower okay so it, it didn't do a very good job here you can just do it again uh, because i didn't select it properly but if i would have it would have removed this but let's try to remove this so i'm going to select this tower and i'm just going to remove it Let's see. I'm not sure if this will work. I've not tested this before, but I think it should. Ah, okay, fine. So maybe not the best job because uh, it kind of made its own pattern of clouds there. It had to replace it, right? So of course it's not going to do a perfect job, but if you actually look at it, if you show it to someone who's not seen this image, I think it looks pretty good, right? So you can see how powerful this uh, tool is. Uh, right, let's look at one more image. Let's uh, let's probably look at this. Just to screen. Okay, just unlock this. Click on duplicate layer. So now we're going to work on this. So let's just quickly remove something here. Probably let's say this stone. So it can be used, you know, to just about remove anything from your image. Sometimes you have a lot of distractions lying on the ground when you do landscape photography, uh, like some, you know, some trash or something. Great tool for that. So of course, we just go to our lasso tool. Of course, this can be done by the spot healing brush tool too. So as I said, some things uh, can be done by either, but sometimes they don't work with one tool. So you can do it with another one. So 
And let's just click on content aware and you can see it's completely gone. So you can try it for this. Let's say if you don't like this here or maybe something that comes, you know, maybe if I don't like these birds. So you can see it does a flawless job. You don't get any of those uh, bad looking patches uh, that you can get with other tools and it's absolutely flawless. So I hope uh, you like this video and that this tool helps you out. I'll see you in the next video in part six. Bye for now.